Hey everyone, it's Cooper from Harvok Caravans. Welcome to another episode of Inside Harvok. Today I'm gonna to run you through the insulation in our van. So I get a lot of questions about this and it's pretty straightforward. By now, I'm sure you know all about our construction methods, having the fully robotically welded aluminum monocoque body. And inside that body, running in between the frames is extruded polystyrene. So this is kind of like that thick foam that you find in an insulated drink bottle or something similar to that. Rather than having the uh, expanded polystyrene, which is that expanding uh, spray in foam, we run uh, this flat surface, so it creates a very flat surface on the inside, which means we can run single piece fiberglass walls on the interior of our vans. But it also has better insulated properties than the spray in foam, and it also lasts a lot better in, in harsher environments. Combined with this, we also have uh, all our wiring done inside the van rather than inside the walls. So we've got channels running through the van, which is great for one, if something goes wrong with your wiring or if you want to modify anything, it's very easy to get to but two, means you don't have big pockets left where there is no insulation because you've got big wiring loops running through the walls. So it's completely filled all the way through with the XPS, um, which is gonna keep you a lot warmer in winter and a lot cooler in summer. That combined with having no vents because we're completely gasless, if you've got all the windows closed, the door closed, you run your aircon for half an hour, it's gonna warm right up or cool right down, and then you can turn it off and it'll just stay that temperature for quite a long time because of this insulation method that we're using. So all that in combination with the high quality products that we're using to seal our vans, such as the Aussie Traveller doors and windows, which are all double glaze style uh, and they keep that temperature from the outside out and keep your temperature inside as it is. I hope this was informative and if you do have any other technical questions or if you need to know anything at all, feel free to give us a call or send us an email uh, or hopefully we'll see you in the showroom. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.